Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Eva and in today's video I will be showing you how to use aloe vera on your hair to achieve healthy, shiny, long hair. If you're interested, keep on watching. If you're into healthy lifestyle, I would love if you subscribe to my channel and stick around for more videos. I have used aloe vera on my hair before, but this time I want to leave it overnight and see if it's gonna make a huge difference. Right now my hair is very dry. It lacks luster, it is frizzy and porous. This needs to be like smooth and I cannot wait to have like moisturized, soft, healthy hair that is shiny. It is very hard for me to achieve shine, so I used to do keratin treatments, but I haven't done one over a year now, and I feel like the last treatment was very damaging to my hair. My hair started getting very thin. I was losing a lot of hair. So I would love if I find something that is natural and easy to use and gives like extreme shine. That is why I try to do the aloe vera treatment overnight, just to see if it's going to be really good for my hair and oh my gosh the result is way different than just leaving it for a few minutes before shower if you want to see how to do this miracle hair treatment keep on watching and first thing is let's prepare the aloe vera I have actual plant and the plant is very easy to take care of if you have a plant you can buy aloe vera leaves from your local grocery store it's usually at the produce section around like tropical fruit once you cut it it will have this yellow substance called latex it is toxic especially if it's consumed by mistake or intentionally i leave it in the sink so this yellow liquid drains and then i wash it thoroughly and I'm ready to cut it. It is very prickly on the sides, so be very careful. Cut the sides first and then chop it into smaller pieces so it's easier to work with. It is very slippery, so again, be careful. I cut each piece in half and then scoop out the gel with spoon put it in a blender, blend it on really high for a couple of minutes and then I use cheesecloth to really strain it and don't underestimate that part because if you don't strain it you can end up with like unwanted pieces in your hair that are very hard to wash out in the shower. I personally like to put this liquid in a spray bottle just because it is so much easier for me to apply it this way. Since my leaf was pretty big, I blended half of it and the rest I put in a Ziploc bag and left it in the freezer for next use. I'm trying to cover my whole scalp and just like wet it. It is dripping, but I have a towel. I don't like to brush my hair when it's wet, even though I'm using a wet brush, but I just wanna make sure that I distribute this as even as possible and kind of coat as much hair as I can. Now we will put a plastic shower cap. It's like a lined, another lined shower cap. This way I will lock in more moisture also keep me warm. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. It is still wet, but not as much as last night. It is not greasy or sticky, so it just feels like water. It's easy to wash out of the hair. It's easy to clean if you make a mess around. So after I wash my hair, this is how my hair looks right now. I feel like it does have a little bit more shine than before. The ends are still on the dry side, but they are smoother and softer. 
I didn't like apply extra product or anything because I didn't want to just like fool you and show you my hair like super smooth and shiny from a different product and when my hair was 85% dry I just blue dry it with round brush this way I feel like it locks in more moisture and keeps it for longer I feel like aloe vera is not only moisturizing but also acts detoxifying like it gets rid of those mineral buildup product buildup and just makes the hair super like smooth and clean and shiny i don't believe that it helps and makes your hair grow faster if you have like a very damaged hair and you cannot grow it out it is not because it's not growing from the roots it is because it's breaking at the ends and it always like stops at certain length it, like applying aloe vera on your scalp won't make the hair just grow way faster than before but it will heal the scalp it will heal your hair it will moisturize it and make it healthier this way it won't break if you are like trying to heal your hair from damage if you're trying to grow your hair i would highly highly recommend you to use aloe vera in your beauty routine it won't harm you in any way it is just going to give you extra moisture extra shine it will bring extra health to your scalp and hair and I also want to try to apply aloe vera on my hair for seven days and see what will happen afterwards because I have seen people achieving like amazing result and I cannot wait to moisturize my hair. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn the bell on, also follow me on Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye!